In this video I'll show how to send messages and receive messages from RabbitMQ in .NET Core console application. I have three different projects added to one solution. One is just library for the message contract which will be sending to RabbitMQ and receiving from RabbitMQ. Then I have receive message console application and send message console application. For this uh, project I will be using mass transit library. For messages I just created message class which defines the contract for the message with three properties ID, name and created date. I also added here a constructor that will accept the proper uh, three properties to initialize the message, to create the message. And I added references to this library, uh, sorry, class library, yes, into receive message application and send message application. So this project is referenced here. Also I added mass transit rabbit MQ package into both receive message and send message console applications. It's I'm using the latest version 555. So for receive messages I have here just two files, program file and message consumer file. In the program file is where everything is happening, we are setting configurations and connections to RabbitMQ. So I have here in the main method I'm creating a bus, bus using factory on it and specifying that I'm create bus using RabbitMQ, using RabbitMQ as transport. Um, it accepts only one parameter, which is uh, uh, which specifies configuration for the bus. So the first uh, configuration is the ho host, which um, accepts the first parameter is URI to RabbitMQ, which is running locally on my machine. And the second one is additional configuration for username and password. Also I'm adding configuration for a receive endpoint, which accepts three parameters also. The host specified earlier, the queue name, which in my case I just uh, called it new queue. It can be any queue name you select and the next I'm configuring consumer on this receive endpoint. There is two ways to create consumer is by using consumer method or just I commented out here the another way that is possible to create con cons cons to consume messages is just using simple handler with the type of the message which returns context and you can do whatever you want with this but I will be using here the consumer which is the preferred method I'll show you later this is will be here defining message consumer class and after that we will need start bus and after we're done we also need stop bus. So for the consumer I have uh, the class message consumer which inherits from iConsumer uh, which is mass transit class with the type message and has one consume async method which return t returns task and accepts consume content context of the type message 
and here I will be just printing the message name. For the send message console application I have only one class program uh, which has the main method and I'm the similar way I'm creating bus using factor on it, specify and create using RabbitMQ and specifying configurations for host with password and username and password and I'm just need start bus and after that I can use publish on the bus to publish messages. A publish method uh, publishes messages which can be consumed by any number of consumers that subscribe to this type of the message. So and for this I'm just passing the message I want to send. I'm using just constructor with ID1, new message name and daytime setting it to now. And once the same way here, once I'm done, I need to stop bus. I have RabbitMQ UI open here, but I don't have any exchanges or queues yet specific for these applications. For queues there is nothing at all. So there's two ways how I can create queues in exchanges. I can just manually go and add them here in management UI or in through command line in the rabbit or they also will be create the necessary exchanges and queues they will be created by consumer if I run it. So I will just set up receive message as my startup project and run it. So I'll stop it and go back to management UI and now I see there is couple new messages, message exchange created, new queue exchange created and also new queue created. And also all necessary bindings are set up. So if I go to message exchange it binds to new queue exchange and new queue exchange binds to new queue queue. So now I can run my consume, uh, sorry, my publisher or send message console application. I call it. I set up a startup project and just run it. I can go back to you management UI to queues and watch it. And now I have one message published here. If I go to this queue, I can get this message and see. So I have message with ID one, name, new message, and created date. Now this message can be consumed by consumer, so I can set up receive message at set a startup project and run it. In the console I expect to see the name of the message, which is new message, yes, I received. So I can go back and I expect that there will be no messages in the queue. Yes, there is no. So this is the simple way to send and receive messages with using mass transit in .NET Core application. Thanks for watching.